Hi there. It's fairly clear that when you're juggling three, we can do them in a circle, or we can do them in this figure of eight lying on its side, the infinity sign. Three is fairly easy to understand. It's just the same as when people do two, but with one more. The figure of eight lying on its side, the infinity sign, is less obvious, but once you see it happening, you can at least see the pattern, although doing it is much harder, because now you have to do the same thing with each hand. And that's a key point with juggling three in this so-called standard pattern, the cascade. All the throws are the same. Now if all the throws are the same, we'll throw the green, then the pink, then the yellow, then the green, then the pink, then the yellow. And because our hands take it in turns, that means we'll throw green, pink, yellow, green. And you'll see that they must change hands. It's a natural consequence of all the throws being the same. Now if I have an even number of balls instead of an odd number, then I can throw yellow, pink, green, orange, and the yellow has to be in the same hand again. So when I juggle four, all the throws the same, the balls must come back to the same hands. If the throws are the same, I don't have a choice. Going to five, once again they'll swap over as I go one, two, three, four, five, one. So we can see there that with an odd number they will change hands, with an even number they will stay in the same hands if all the throws are the same, but the throws don't have to be the same. We can mix them up. In particular, in the middle of juggling four balls, we can look at two of them, throw the green, then the orange, but instead of having them come down in the same order, have them come down in each other's place. So the green has to come down one beat later in the other hand, the orange has to come down one beat earlier, and we can do that. In the middle of juggling four, throw the green high and changing hands, and the orange low and changing hands. Here it comes, three, two, one, there. And you can see that they've now changed hands. They came down in a different order. Interestingly, the, the one that went high and changed hands, it's almost as if it's one throw taken from a five ball pattern. And the one that went low and changed hands is almost like it's a ball taken from a three ball pattern. When we're juggling three, the balls go low and crossing. When we're juggling five, they go high and crossing. And in fact, we can use this to start to write down juggling tricks by talking about the kind of throw that we're doing, the kind of pattern it comes from. More about that in the next video.